fluorocarbons, sometimes referred to as perfluorocarbons or PFCs, are, strictly speaking, organofluorine compounds with the formula CXFY, that is they contain only carbon and fluorine, though the terminology is not strictly followed. Compounds with the prefix perfluoro are hydrocarbons, including those with heterotoms, wherein all CH bonds have been replaced by CF bonds. Fluorocarbons and their derivatives are useful fluoropolymers, refrigerants, solvents, and anesthetics. Perfluoroalkanes, chemical properties, perfluoroalkanes are very stable because of the strength of the carbonyurofluorine bond, one of the strongest in organic chemistry. Its strength is a result of the electronegativity of fluorine imparting partial ionic character through partial charges on the carbon and fluorine atoms, which shorten and strengthen the bond through favorable coulombic interactions. Additionally, multiple carbonyurofluorine bonds increase the strength and stability of other nearby carbonyurofluorine bonds on the same geminal carbon, as the carbon has a higher positive partial charge. Furthermore, Multiple carbonyurofluorine bonds also strengthen the skeletal carbonyurocarbon bonds from the inductive effect. Therefore, saturated fluorocarbons are more chemically and thermally stable than their corresponding hydrocarbon counterparts, and indeed any other organic compound. They are susceptible to attack by very strong reductants, for example, birch reduction and very specialized organometallic complexes. Physical properties Fluorocarbon are colorless and have high density, up to over twice that of water. They are not miscible with most organic solvents, but are miscible with some hydrocarbons. They have very low solubility in water, and water has a very low solubility in them. They have low refractive indices. As the high electronegativity of fluorine reduces the polarizability of the atom, Fluorocarbons are only weakly susceptible to the fleeting dipoles that form the basis of the London dispersion force. As a result, fluorocarbons have low intermolecular attractive forces and are lyopopobic in addition to being hydrophobic nonpolar. Reflecting the weak intermolecular forces these compounds exhibit low viscosities when compared to liquids of similar boiling points, low surface tension and low heats of vaporization. The low attractive forces in fluorocarbon liquids make them compressible and able to dissolve gas relatively well. Smaller fluorocarbons are extremely volatile. There are five perfluoroalkan gases. Tetrafluoromethane, hexafluoroethane, octafluoropropane, perfluoroenbutane and perfluoroisobutane. Nearly all other fluoroalkanes are liquids. The most notable exception is perfluorocyclohexan, which sublimes at 51 AA degrees Celsius. Fluorocarbons also have low surface energies and high dielectric strengths. Perfluoroalkanes Flammability In the 60s there was a lot of interest in fluorocarbons as anesthetics. The research did not come to anything, but a lot of effort was expended on the vital issue of flammability, and showed that the tested fluorocarbons were not flammable in air in any proportion, though most are in neat oxygen and neat nitrous oxide. In fact, fluorocarbons have been considered as fire extinguishants to replace CFCs. This extinguishing effect has been attributed to their high heat capacity, which serves to take heat away from the fire. It has also been suggested that an atmosphere containing a significant percentage per fluorocarbon on a space station or similar would prevent fires altogether. It must be noted that when combustion does occur, Toxic fumes will result, including carbonyl fluoride, carbon monoxide and hydrogen fluoride. Gas dissolving properties, perfluorocarbons dissolve relatively high volumes of gases. The high solubility of gases is attributed to the weak intermolecular interactions in these fluorocarbon fluids. This table shows values for the mole fraction, x1, of gas dissolved, calculated from the Ostwald coefficient, at 25 a degree Celsius, 0.101 mPAR, manufacture, the development of the fluorocarbon industry coincided with World War II. Prior to that, fluorocarbons were prepared by reaction of fluorine with the hydrocarbon, that is, direct fluorination. Because CC bonds are readily cleaved by fluorine, direct fluorination mainly affords smaller perfluorocarbons, such as tetrafluoromethane, hexafluoroethane, 
and octafluoropropane. Fowler process, a major breakthrough that allowed the large-scale manufacture of fluorocarbons was the Fowler process, which in this process, cobalt trifluoride is used as the source of fluorine. Illustrative is the synthesis of perfluorohexane, C6H14 plus 28 to CoF3 a C6F14 plus 14 a HF plus 28 to CoF2. The resulting cobalt difluoride is then regenerated, sometimes in a separate reactor, to a CoF2 plus F2 or to a CoF3. Industrially, both steps are combined, for example in the manufacture of the flute range of fluorocarbons, using a vertical stirred bed reactor, with hydrocarbon introduced at the bottom, and fluorine introduced halfway up the reactor. The fluorocarbon vapor is recovered from the top. Electrochemical fluorination Electrochemical fluorination involves electrolysis of a substrate dissolved in hydrogen fluoride. As fluorine is itself manufactured by the electrolysis of hydrogen fluoride, ECF is a rather more direct route to fluorocarbons. The process proceeds at low voltage so that free fluorine is not liberated. The choice of substrate is restricted as ideally it should be soluble in hydrogen fluoride. Ethers and tertiary amines are typically employed. To make perfluorohexane, chhexylamine is used, for example, 2 N, C6H13, 3 plus 90 AHF for 6 a C6F14 plus 2 N F3 plus 81 H2. The perfluorinated and will also be produced, N, C6H13, 3 plus 39 HF N, C6F13, 3 plus 39 H2. Environmental and health concerns. Fluoroalkanes are generally very inert and non-toxic. They are not ozone depleting as they contain no chlorine or bromine atoms, and indeed they are sometimes used as replacements for ozone depleting chemicals. Unfortunately, the term fluorocarbon is used rather loosely to include any chemical containing fluorine and carbon, including chlorofluorocarbons, which are ozone depleting. They are sometimes confused with fluorosurfactants, which have a significant bioaccumulation problem. However perfluoroalkanes do not bioaccumulate, and those used in medical procedures are rapidly excluded from the body, primarily via expiration. The rate of excretion appears to be a function of the vapor pressure. The half-life for octafluoropropane is less than two minutes, compared to about a week for perfluorodecalin. Low-boiling perfluoroalkanes are potent greenhouse gases, in part due to their very long atmospheric lifetime. Their use is covered by the Kyoto Protocol. A major source of atmospheric perfluorocarbons has been the aluminium smelting industry, where it is produced as a byproduct of the electrolysis process. However, the industry has been actively involved in reducing emissions in recent years. Applications, as they are inert, perfluoroalkanes have essentially no chemical uses, but their physical properties have led to their use in many diverse applications. These include, perfluorocarbon treaser, liquid dielectric, chemical vapor deposition, organic Rankine cycle, fluoresce biphasic catalysis, cosmetics, as well as several medical uses, liquid breathing, blood substitute, contrast enhanced ultrasound, eye surgery, tattoo removal, fluorolkins and fluorolkins, Unsaturated fluorocarbons are far more reactive than fluoroalkanes. Although difluoroacetylene is unstable, hexafluorotubutyne and related fluorinated orkins are well known. Unsaturated fluorocarbons. Polymerization Fluorolkins polymerize more exothermically than normal alkanes. Unsaturated fluorocarbons have a driving force towards sp3 hybridization due to the electronegative fluorine atoms seeking a greater share of bonding electrons with reduced s character in orbitals. The most famous member of this class is tetrafluoroethylene, which is used to manufacture polytetrafluoroethylene, better known under the trade name Teflon. Environmental and health concerns: fluorolkins and fluorinated orkins are reactive and many are toxic. Fluorolkins are not ozone depleting, as they contain no chlorine or bromine atoms. They are too reactive to be greenhouse gases. Associated with the production of polytetrafluoroethylene is the use of various fluorinated surfactants, which have attracted concern because they bioaccumulate. Perfluoroaromatic compounds, 
Perfluoroaromatic compounds contain only carbon and fluorine, like other fluorocarbons, but also contain an aromatic ring. The three most important examples are hexafluorobenzene, octafluorotoluene, and octafluorinophthalane. Perfluoroaromatic compounds Perfluoroaromatic compounds can be manufactured via the Fowler process, like fluoroalkanes, but the conditions must be adjusted to prevent full fluorination. They can also be made heating the corresponding perchloroaromatic compound with potassium fluorine at high temperature, during which the chlorine atoms are replaced by fluorine atoms. A third route is defluorination of the fluoroalkan. For example, Octafluorotoluene can be made from perfluoromethylsilanexane by heating to 500 degrees Celsius with a nickel or iron catalyst. Perfluoroaromatic compounds are relatively volatile for their molecular weight, with melting and boiling points similar to the corresponding aromatic compound, as the table below shows. They have high density and are non-flammable. For the most part, they are clear, colorless liquids. Unlike the perfluoroalkanes, they tend to be miscible with common solvents. See also, category, fluorocarbons, fluorochemical industry, fluorographene, references. External links, fluorocarbons and sulfur hexafluoride, proposed by European Fluorocarbons Technical Committee, CFCs and ozone depletion free view video provided by the Vega Science Trust. Introduction to fluoropolymers, Organofluorine Chemistry by Graham Sengford